Happy Saturday. Today is Saturday, May 29th, end of week 21 of 2021. We've had a great week. Actually, we've had a great two weeks. I hope you have too. That's right. Last week, I did not create a video. I wasn't being lazy. I just had a lot going on. So today I'm going to try and speed through the past two weeks and tell you the highlights. Sunday the 16th we watched some movies. We watched a really amazing movie called Harriet about Harriet Tubman. She was one of the most notable figures of the Underground Railroad back before the Civil War. She was instrumental in freeing over 700 slaves if I remember correctly. Amazing woman, amazing movie. I highly recommend it. Monday I continued on some research about online community management. I'm helping my friend Farley. He is an award-winning painter, amazingly talented guy who gets requests from people all the time for teaching them how to paint. So we're putting together a website of people that want to be a part of a community that learn from Farley. I'm very excited about it. Wednesday was my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Britta. Also on Wednesday, Ben and I went out and did a little fishing at the pond around the corner. On Friday, Mom and Ernie arrived. We got to work right away when I got done working on a project here in the house of putting a door in my office to the outside patio. I now have natural light coming in to my office that had no windows before. I was so grateful to Ernie for offering to help me put in this door in my office. He is an amazing guy when it comes to renovations and knowing how to do that type of stuff. There is no way I would have tackled a project like this without him. We had to cut through the inside wall and the outside wall was brick, so we had to use a wet saw. And I have no idea how to use a wet saw, but thankfully Ernie has a lot of experience with it. We worked on that a little bit Friday night. We worked all day Saturday, all day Sunday, and almost all day Monday getting that all done. It was a very involved project. There was so much to do. Friday night we started cutting away at the sheetrock here inside and we got down to the studs. We made sure that there was nothing inside the wall, electrical or plumbing or anything like that. We had to be very careful at the beginning of that. Then we rearranged the studs and built a header so we had the door all framed and ready before we even started cutting out the brick. Well, we could see the brick wall at that point. We were waiting till we got the wet saw. Saturday we rented the wet saw and got a little bit of that done Saturday evening. Then Sunday we broke out the rest of it, got it chipped away, got all the measurements done. We actually went to Lowe's two or three times, but we got it all done. And all we have left to do now is the tape and bed of the sheetrock, the trim work, and a little bit of painting outside. It looks really good. I really love this new door. Thank you, Ernie. So I had scheduled myself off for Monday and Tuesday. On Tuesday, I got to rearrange my office here, clean up a lot of the construction dust that was on things. We had put up plastic blocking out the dust as much as possible, but it still gets around it a little bit. It was nice to be able to rearrange my office. It's in a little bit better order than it was before. It's getting to the point where I really like how it's set up. thinking a lot on Wednesday about creative goals of things that I'd like to do in the future. I want to pick some things that I've never done before, some things that will stretch me, that I can look at the progress. I don't know, I just really want something that's outside of my comfort zone. Wednesday night, I got to FaceTime call with my friend Bob up in Minnesota. Bob is a longtime friend, and we're really looking forward to seeing him and family and other friends up in Minnesota when we go up there in another month or so. On Friday, Jill met for the first time with her college advisor. Yes, her college advisor. Jill's going back to school. She wants to get her bachelor's degree in communications. She's very excited about that. She will, for her first two years, be at OTC, which is where Brian will be next year, and Zach. Zach is in the diesel tech program, and Brian is in middle college, and Jill will be getting her Associates of Arts moving toward a bachelor's in communications. I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of all of them. It's inspiring to watch them grow. Thank you. 
And that brings us up to today, Saturday. I went out for a drive this morning. It's a little drizzly outside. I did some video, but if you see the specks of water on the lens of the camera, that's, that's why. There was a little bit of rain, but it was a beautiful morning. Well, that wraps up both weeks 20 and 21 of 2021. <laughs> that just occurred to me. Have a great week. We'll see you next week.